Okay, so I saw an interesting app yesterday and uh, it's based on Android and so I've booted up two versions of Android. These are both ConstaKang versions. So the bottom one is Android TV and the top one is Lineage OS 18.1 and uh, I'm going to see if AntStream works on it. So let's zoom in to the top screen. I've got separate videos on how to install both of these with the Google Play Store as well. So let's open the Play Store on Lineage OS 18.1 and uh, do a search for AntStream. And this is the app, so let's hit install. Yeah, it looks like it's installing fine on that. Okay, that installed nice and quick. Let's hit open. So it looks like I've got to create an account. So I've been sent an email to verify it looks like. Continue. Okay, you can see it comes up with a nice simple interface. Uh, I've plugged in my Xbox 360 wireless controller and uh, it's working fine. You can see it moving along the top there. So if I skip down, uh, you can see Anstream picks. Uh, I've just tried a little bit of Mortal Kombat just to see if it was working. And uh, if I click on that, it downloads the game when you need to play it. Uh, so you do need an internet connection to be able to use any of the games on this, it looks like. So let's play on Mortal Kombat. And you can see it comes up with this screen just to show you bits about it. I've got a continue option there. And you can see it comes up with uh, gamepad, touch and keyboard. So let's hit play. So let's pick a character. So the analog stick works. And it feels pretty responsive actually. That was the move I was used to use back in the day. Yeah, that's pretty responsive. If I press the select button, uh, it comes up with this menu, so I can quit that. Are you sure you want to leave? So there's leaderboards on here as well. Like, yes, you can see I'm 7,118th. <laughs> that's interesting to have a leaderboard though. So if I go back from this, I oh yeah, at the top there, that. And this works very well with the controller, which is nice to see. On um, B is back button, A is, uh, is select. So that's very, very straightforward. So games with challenges. Let's try Sly versus Spy. Okay, nice. Again, it feels nice and fast. Perfectly playable, looks decent. Now obviously, there's various different ways you can play arcade games on the Raspberry Pi. RetroPie is very detailed and all sorts of things you can do, but it's nice to see this is incredibly easy to set up with Android. Uh, and obviously this would work on your phone as well but be aware of data rates. Rank up, let's try a few more games. Oh, Bomb Jack just showed up then. Bomb Jack is excellent. So let's try the search to see if I can find that. It's not under the recommended, is it? Pac-Man's there, Defenders is there. Worms is there, which I guess would have been, oh, and Marble Madness was decent as well. That had a, a rollable on an arcade cabinet, but uh, I'm sure this will work all right. So let's hit start, it puts a coin in. Here we go, and will this work with the analog stick? No, it looks like this, the digital stick. Yeah, that feels nice and responsive. Not as nice play, playing it as it would be with a rollable, but Maybe there's a way of adding it. You can certainly add it to RetroPie, people have done it. And obviously RetroPie has loads more options, but this is so simple. Oh, here we go, we've got an adversary here. It starts off super easy and then it gets much harder. Oh, oh it's only, oh, okay. And let's try something else. So keep pressing the B button to go back. 
how do I get Bomb Jack on this? Just click on that top banner, I guess. Look at that, there's a, it says tournament. Oh, and I've got to use, uh, I've got these, um, these jewels down here, join for 50, and I've got 152 at the top. Oh yeah, this looks just like the arcade version. Oh, and it plays perfectly. The speed feels exactly as I'd expect it to. Oh, <laughs> it's just as hard as it always was. Yeah, that's good. So this, it's super easy. I mean, there's, there's no setup to this. Uh, and that's really interesting the way that they've done it. So play again, games with chat. I like that as well. Play again comes up so you can jump straight back into something you found that you liked. Games with challenges, trending, Gallagher. Karate, international karate. So that's a Commodore 64 version. I thought it was all arcade when I saw it first of all. But you can see down the bottom here, there's Amiga games. Arcade, C64. Spectrum, see so driving games here. Again, Spectrum, C64, Arcade, Super Scramble Simulator, Wheelie, platform games, beat em up games, racing games, BMX Simulator on there. So it's all very low level, very easy to run games, but some of those are still really fun. Flight Sim, Pinball Games, Casino Games, Adventure Games, Action Games, Shooting Games, the Alien Breed on the Amiga. Be interesting, be interesting to see how well the Amiga games run. It's very slick. The, the whole interface and the way it works. So from a, from a sort of lean back experience, if you're sat on a sofa with a controller in your hand, you don't have to get up and use a keyboard and mouse or anything like that. It's it's all controller based. But also you can play it on your phone or your tablet because it's just Android. And everything loads up really quick because obviously they're really small files. Yeah, speed feels fine on that. I've been playing this recently on Pi Mega and uh, it does feel very similar. Doesn't look quite as sharp. So I've hit, the, I've hit the home button this time, so I can hit select or home to get to this menu. So quick game, okay. And go back. So you've got this continue slot as well that it seems to save. Maybe it saves that online. So in the cloud, so you can go back into your game. Maybe you can switch between devices uh, because you'd already be logged into your account and everything. Yeah, this is super impressive. Really nice pick up and play games. So that is really impressive. Um, I don't really know much about the service at the moment, but it was free, just had to register for an account. And it looks like you can earn these gems by playing games, uh, and then you can use them to enter tournaments. So I'll just try it on uh, Android TV, because I haven't tried it on that. This is just on uh, the Lineage 18.1, the Consta Kang version. So let's get onto this screen. Uh, I'm going to need to plug in an internet connection because I don't think my Android TV was set up for Wi-Fi. And in fact, I'm going to switch keyboards because I was, I was using this keyboard, which is tiny. So I'm going to use my Logitech keyboard. I'm not going to worry about a controller for now because it's more a case of is this going to load up and work. Okay, so you can see that's installing now. Everything seems to be working all right. It just comes up ordinary on the search. Just hit open. So it installed from the Play Store on Android TV and as you can see, I'm all logged in and uh, the controller is working and it comes up with all the games that I was playing before. So if I wanna jump back in, if I click on Bomb Jack and click again and hit play, I'm straight in. That's really impressive. I'm just gonna quit out of that. I'm gonna see if any of those games let you jump back in where you were. 
yeah, so look, Mortal Kombat has come up with a continue. Even though I'm on the, the second device, it's come up with a continue. So that is really impressive. Right, I'm going to switch to screen capture on Lineage OS 18.1 because it's easier to use the web browser on that. Okay, so I'm looking at their official website here just to have a look. Uh, what controllers can I use with Antstream Arcade? And loads of things have come up. And you can see there's a massive list of things. My Xbox 360 controller worked straight away and it worked great, but it looks like all the major controllers are supported. The website works really well. All the information is there. I'm having a look at this background picture and uh, I see cannon fodder was there somewhere earlier on. Yeah, cannon fodder's there. So I'll have to have a look at that, although it's not as good with a controller. Maybe you can use mouse and keyboard. But uh, yeah, super impressed with that. I'm going to have a look at that when I've got more time. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.